โอเคสวัสดีครับผมวันนี้อยู่กับช่องวัดจิตจีนนะครับวันนี้ผมก็จะมานําเสนอข่าวสารของออเบียนออนไลน์นะครับนี้มีเดฟทอกนะเพิ่งจะลงได้ประมาณสิชั่วโมงเกือบวันนึงแล้วรู้ทันไหมนะเดี๋ยวผมผมไม่มีคลิปจะลงเดี๋ยวเราก็ไปดูกันได้เลยครับอานูนะครับอือเรียบร้อย It's so cool to see a new world rising, driven just by you, the players. Now that Albion East is successfully underway, it's time to talk about what's coming next for Albion Online. Well, first of all, the Rites of Spring will return to Albion soon, and since the event was very. อันนี้กิจกรรมกระต่ายนี่ที่ไปเก็บกล่องแยกกันเราไปเอาไข่ไปแลกกระต่ายที่ซันที่แล้วผมก็ไม่ได้นะไม่ได้หาไม่ได้ไข่ Popular last year, it's returning mostly as you know it, except this time around. Our fluffy ของเราน่ารักนะครับไปหาก็ได้นะได้ฟรีนะแต่ว่าต้องไปหาล่าตามแมพแดงแมพดำมันจะมีกล่องแล้วก็บางทีจะมีตีของข้างทางอะได้ไข่ไข่ไปแลกเอานะครับจำไม่ได้ว่าเท่าไหร่ Spring Cottontail is accompanied by a bad-tempered buddy. More on that soon. After the rites of spring. It'll be time for the yet to be named Beyond the Veil content patch, which is currently finishing production and brings additional content and features for the mists, some adjustments of the roads of Avalon, and various usability improvements. The content patch and its key feature, the new Dungeons in the Mists, will be covered in detail in their own. จะมีดันเจียดมาใหม่ในมิสคือเข้าไปในมิสแล้วมีดันอีกทีหนึ่งเหรอเกาถึงโดยละเอียดในเดฟทอกของเขาเองเดี๋ยวเราก็รอติดตามนะครับภาพดูแล้วก็สวยดีนะดันใหม่ดีมิสนะครับ Own Dev Talk Beyond those, the team is already working on Albion's next major update and making plans for beyond that. Here, I want to give you some insight into what topics we're working on and how we're currently approaching the development process. Because Albion has become quite large and complex. We need a development strategy that allows us to maintain, improve, and revolutionize the game at the same time. Internally, we have three main development directions: better basics, continuous content, and fantastic features. A bit cheesy, I know, but they're easy to remember. Better basics means a part of our effort is always spent on improving the core functionality of the game, especially in places where it is most impactful. Currently in development in this category. ขณะนี้อยู่ในระหว่างการพัฒนาในหมดหมู่นี้เราปรับปรุงฟังก์ชันของ Market Place เช่นฟังก์ชันสามารถไปกดซ่อมของที่ร้านขายของได้เลยไม่ต้องไปแวะซ่อมกับลุงอีกแล้วใช่ไหม We have improved marketplace functionality like. ซ่อมกับอินี่แล้วก็ขายกับมันได้เลยไม่ต้องเสียเวลาไปข้างนอกเมืองแต่ว่าถ้ามาชอบตัวนี้ก็ไม่ต้องเสียเวลาวิ่งไงเออแค่นี้อยู่แล้วมีขายทั้งหมดด้วยอารมณ์ประมาณกดทีเดียวหมดก็เป่าเลยเปล่า sell all function along with better filtering and better handling of large scale purchases and pickups we're also working on delivering a more stable loot experience especially for high value chests by Looking how the black market distributes loot internally, and then we're working on fixing economic issues like the current stone market, reworking crafting capacity, as well as finding an improved role for the player islands in the current crafting economy. All in all, this category is packed with various improvements we're already working on. Our second development direction, continuous content. Means we constantly want to spend some of our production effort on expanding what we already have in the game. The most impactful place to do this is adding new gear choices to the "You Are What You Wear" system. So most of the focus will be on that. In this category, we of course have the Rites of Spring event and the Beyond the Veil content patch coming up, bringing new activities and new equipment items to the game. But we've also started to work full scale on Albion's next weapon line for the Hunter Tree. Yeah, what is this? For the Hunter Tree of Destiny Boy. Oh, katha, what is it? Like katha voodoo, like. 
of the Destiny board. Finally, the fantastic features direction means we want to continue to bring you new features that expand the scope of Albion Online and try to offer you experiences you just cannot find in any other MMORPG. It's risky to talk about the features in this category because they're still constantly evolving and may not end up being in the game just how we imagined them, but I'd like to share two concepts we're currently working on. The first is legendary weapons. Legendary weapons are regular weapons which become legendary through their use. After being awakened, these items can gain levels for completing challenges with them and can eventually reach legendary status, gaining unique traits and a unique name. What makes a legendary item extra special is that instead of being destroyed on death, it has a chance to vanish and then being added to the legendary item loot pool. From the loot pool, it has a chance to drop as a regular loot drop, replacing an equivalent base item from the black market and of course still bearing the name of its creator. This allows you to truly leave a permanent mark on the world of Albion and to create a legendary item that becomes part of the game's history. The second concept in the fantastic features category we're very excited about are improvements we're making to the spell and ability system to better deal with walls and height differences. So why are we excited about that? Well, if we can better deal with walls and height differences, then we can build proper castles and siege battles and even consider player-built fortifications. And who wouldn't be excited about that? I hope you enjoyed this short overview of what's going on in the development of Albion Online and are looking forward to the upcoming Rites of Spring as well as the Beyond the Veil content patch. Come back for more Dev Talks covering these and Albion's next major update coming soon. Okay. แล้วก็มีพระอาจารย์เพิ่มระบบซ่อมทั้งหมดในร้านค้าแล้วก็ขายทั้งหมดด้วยกดทีเดียวบนกระเป๋าเราๆนั้นแล้วก็มีป้น